Hello and welcome to this RxNet conference report. On the 9th and the 10th of October, we attended Elrig Drug Discovery 2018 in London. The theme of this year's meeting was drug discovery for large and small molecules. A personal standout of the meeting was the stream on anti-infectives and rare diseases, chaired by David Brown, co-founder of Helix, and Chris Dowson, professor of microbiology at the University of Warwick. Rare diseases and infectious diseases share a variety of common problems, resulting in thin drug pipelines and mounting unmet medical need. This stream highlighted a variety of challenges in these areas of research and ways these challenges can be overcome. There was another hot topic in drug discovery represented at the meeting in a stream focused on the use of data sciences and artificial intelligence in drug discovery and development. This was co-chaired by John Overington of the Medicines Discovery Catapult and Bissan Al Lazakani of the Institute of Cancer Research. The plenary keynote on the first day was given by Janet Thornton, senior scientist at the European Bioinformatics Institute on drug repurposing and ageing. Many increasingly prevalent diseases share age as a common risk factor, and Janet highlighted the ethical and scientific issues behind developing drugs for these diseases, as well as the hunt for repurposing drugs that we could use to treat these diseases. We were really excited to launch our brand new open access journal, Future Drug Discovery, at the meeting, as well as officially relaunch MedChemNet as RxNet. To celebrate, we held a drinks reception at the booth, and we really enjoyed meeting everyone who stopped by. As usual, the exhibition was fantastic. As well as the posters, there were numerous giveaways and prizes, including our brand new tote bags, countless memory sticks and pens, and my personal favourite, a giant stuffed neuron given away by stem cell technologies. Look out for our upcoming expert interviews recorded at Elric 2018, as well as our next spotlight on materials and methods in early 2019. We look forward to seeing you at more conferences in the new year. As always, to keep up with the latest content and news, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and on LinkedIn.